Meanwhile, economic experts say Hurricane Harvey could hit Hoosiers in their wallets. The storm is expected to create an economic ripple effect across the country. 24 Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas is digging into the issue today. And Tim, how will Harvey affect us here in Indiana? Oh, well, Dave, no one will feel the effect of Hurricane Harvey financially or otherwise more than the people in the storm's path. But experts say people right here in Indiana will be paying more at the gas pump and the hardware store. 535. 1,000 miles from Houston. All the way back to the service center and turn right. In a downtown Indy hardware store, General Manager Michael Gunning is bracing for the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. It's, it's so catastrophic and there's going to be such an extreme demand for basic core products that are related to building that uh, it's going to affect everyone. Gunning says rebuilding efforts in Houston will create a shortage of drywall, lumber, and insulation. He expects prices in Indiana to go up. Now's the time to buy your materials. Michael Hicks is the director of Ball State's Center for Business and Economic Research. He says Harvey will also cause a spike in fuel prices because South Texas is a hot spot for gas production. If you really need to... Uh, fill up your tank now, do it now. The interruption of the fuel supply will cause a spike in petroleum prices over the next several weeks, uh, maybe as much as 75 cents a gallon. Hicks's advice, don't panic. Use petroleum sparingly, pre-order your construction materials, and donate what you can to the people in the storm's path. Everybody's heart goes out to those poor people. I mean. Gunning says he's keeping a close watch on the supply chain. It's sad, but it's one of those realities that when Mother Nature strikes and we have a catastrophic event like this, um, the ripple effect just kind of goes across the whole nation. Hicks says some stores could run out of certain construction materials. He expects the prices to go back to normal here in Indiana by the end of winter. I'm Tim McNicholas, 24-Hour News 8.